Hi, I'm Richard, and I want orbital notation. So, what is orbital notation? How is it used? Well, I'm Richard, and I'm here to enlighten you on this scientific process known as orbital notation. Orbital notation is a diagram of how many electrons are present in a given orbital. The order of increasing energy for atomic sublevels is as follows. 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, 4p, 5s, 4d, 5p, 6s, 4f, 5d, 6p, 7s, 5f, and 6d. In this diagram, the orbital notation for the carbon atom is drawn. Hund's rule states that orbitals of equal energy are each occupied by one electron before any orbital is occupied by a second electron, and all electrons in singly occupied orbitals must have the same spin state. So basically, what this means is that when drawing an orbital notation diagram, each orbital must be filled with an arrow pointing in the same direction before it is paired with another electron in that orbital. In carbon's orbital notation, you can see that there are two unpaired electrons in the 2p orbital. Carbon's diagram is clear evidence of the Hund's rule. The spin states of the two unpaired electrons in carbon are the same, yet in the 1s and 2s orbitals they are opposite because they are paired electrons. Spin states are necessary to make sure that no electrons in the same atom have the same four quantum numbers. The spin state of an electron determines the spin quantum number, which is either plus one half or negative one half. The up arrow is plus one half, while the down arrow is negative one half. Orbital notation is used around the world for many reasons. Why, Tyler? To determine the relative location of an electron in an atom. 